the Skyline Drive. 105 miles of some of the most incredible views that Virginia has to offer. A national park that is 30 minutes from my house. And yet I barely go there. I'm always looking for the next big adventure and I'm always willing to drive really far away to get to that place. And this amazing place is right in my own backyard. I have been talking about this for months and I finally had the weekend available and the right bikes and the right crew. Today, fellas, we're riding the skyline. You fellas ready to have some fun? I would stay home. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the uh, northernmost entrance to the Skyline Drive. Um, unlike Blue Ridge Parkway, which is free to access, um, Skyline is part of the National Park Service and you have to pay for access. Um, in this case, I happen to have an annual pass. Um, I may not come down here as often as I would like to, but I still make my trips periodically. Skyline Drive is known for a lot of things. Um, in the fall, the view is amazing with the, the orange leaves, and um, I haven't ever been up here in the winter. But this, this is why people come. just like that 80 miles is going by 
we've enjoyed most of the day up until now, and we thought that this was as good a place as any to uh, stop for lunch. Sammy, hey, you enjoying the ride? Yeah, man. <clears throat> Lucas. What's up? Good ride? Yes, yeah, Sammy would go faster. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's not much we can do about that. <laughs> Wasn't well, anticipating having to come to a stop. Yeah. Well. Ben, do you want to do lunch here, or should we wait until we get to the next, uh, like, shop type stop? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was. Oh, and burrito pocket. I actually have heard that, like, and it keeps it warm too. It's, yeah, it's a chicken wrap, so it's still warm. Just make sure when you guys, when we're riding like that, so if you guys see like some any like obstruction or anything on the road, just kick your leg out, and point it out for the guy behind you. And just like that. We are out of the park. This is the uh, southern entrance over by Afton, Virginia. So by now we're 115 miles from home and we have about, oh I don't know, three or four different options for making our way home. After a quick pit stop to uh, talk with the guys and figure out time and routes and what we want to do, we decided that 340 would be the best way home. And let me say, 340 is a great ride. This is a crazy blind turn. You're just pulling out and you, you can't really see who's coming. And as soon as I pull it out, a big white truck comes around the corner. So I had to pull over to the side and wait until the guys could get out as well. driving through these areas in Virginia. Um, there's lots of little towns and cities and things outside of Nova, things that people normally wouldn't see unless they went out and drove and explored and found new roads. And um, these places, they just have so much personality and I love them. I don't know what that guy did, but he had about six cops parked out front. At this point we're about uh, 150 to 180 miles into the trip and uh, we're running low on gas. <laughs> the ST1300 is good for about 300 miles so I wasn't hurting um, but I did get some snacks and some drinks. Oh man, 
a stretch right there. <laughs> the best feeling when you get off the bike. This guy in front of us was going absurdly slow. He was almost 15 miles below the speed limit. And we were just like fuming for 10 miles as we were behind this guy. This here is uh, a really cool spot that I always love. This is our uh, bridge and then right next to it is a train, uh, train railway bridge. I just think this is just a, such a cool area to drive past. And just a minute later that bridge goes over the road.